Scorch Trials, which is uh, the second Maze Runner movie. Um, what did you learn from the first film that you were able to apply in this one? Huh. That character matters. <laughs> you know, honestly, it's like, uh, I think the, the, a large part of the success of the first one is those characters, those actors. You really fell in love with those guys, you know? And so we tried to make sure that we held on to that. So, you know, these set pieces that we kind of definitely upped the ante this time, we tried to bring the scale more. Um, we try to make sure that you know there's real peril there. That you're you're afraid that you're, some of your favorite characters are going to die. You know, so um, that was probably a big one that we took you know carried into this one, even though it's a very different animal this time. Mm -hmm. What were the big changes that you had to make from the the books in general to the films? Yeah, I mean, in general, um, we didn't kind of approach it. The, the book itself didn't wasn't quite didn't lend itself basically to the a perfect little adaptation. You know. Um, because of that kind of middle chapter of a thing. So what we really kind of did was take the next two books and then figure out what is that larger story and then figure out what were the two movies in that. And that meant sometimes we had to take some things from the third book and bring it into the second and some things from the second book we'll save for the third. Um, but ultimately the biggest change really comes down to the fact that these kids are not kind of you know being sent out in the desert by Wicked. These kids are taken upon their own selves. You know, they take the initiative to escape and out into the scorch, and then you know, are then being pursued by Wicked. Which it just makes for a much more cinematic journey than just kind of you know, here's your task, go. You know, um, so we never thought that would work basically. So we we changed that very early on, and then pretty much everything else stems from that minor change essentially. Um, but a lot of the same favorite scenes of the characters are the the, the, the fans are going to be looking for are in there in one shape or another. I always kind of basically said we're working with the same ingredients, we just have a dis different recipe. How did you find making two films so quickly and so close together? Would you rather have done something in between of a, of a different scale or a different type? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, I haven't thought about that. I, you know, I, I always wish I had more time. That's the most valuable asset in, 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 in all of movie production, you know, from writing all the way up to editing, you know, and finishing the movie. Um, so I definitely wish we had a little bit more time. We were basically shooting the movie a few weeks after the last one opened. So we, while the movie was opening, I was busy, you know, working with my screenwriter writing this thing and location scouting. Um, but, uh, but, you know, it's also fun to kind of keep the momentum going. You know, we just got off this, you know, publicity tour of the first one. We had already seen each other, and the character the actors are, you know, familiar with each other in the story, and we just jump right into the next one. So, it, you know, it probably helped in some ways, you know. Is it the same again for the third one, then? Are you going to go straight into it, or are you going to take yeah, some time? Yeah, basically, we're going to start shooting in February, so it's, we have probably another month or two difference, you know, but um, it'll be the same kind of fast release pace, you know, where we've got our release date already, of course, which is February in 2017. Um, so now it's just about hitting that target, you know. You mentioned that you cut some things out just for the ratings um, yeah. side of things. What were those in particular? It's always centered around cranks or, uh, you know, different sort of, you know, um, different scenarios that might be on the edge for, for parents. I bet you the kids don't, don't care. The kids are going to love the movie. You know, as the parents, are, you know, always, you're always a little bit more protective of your kids, you know what I mean? Um, but I grew up on like that kind of stuff, you know, like not pulling punches. I think, uh, you know, young people are, are much more mature than, they, than they're usually given credit for. So um, I think they're going to just eat it up. So what are some of those films that you grew up with watching and big oh, fan of? You know, the first rated R movie I saw was Terminator 2. That was my first one, and that was fantastic. Were you, you know? too young? Did you sneak into that yeah. one? And then my dad took me, <laughs> right. you know, which is great. I grew up on that great stuff, and I knew the difference between fantasy and all that stuff. And it's, it's fine, you know. Um, you know, then uh, what, Alien, you know, I remember that, that very distinctly. And, you know, and just had, and this, those, those kinds of movies that are, that are not kids' movies, they have such a great kind of, you know, hold on my memory, you know, because they were so good, you know, and so intense and, and, and raw and real, you know. Um, so yeah, I think it's cool. Both of those films that you mentioned have been remade and or have sequels in the works. Sure. Would those be something that you'd be interested in doing, or are you still Gosh, interested? Gosh, I don't in? know. Um, I don't know if I will. I'm not sure. It, obviously, there's 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 plenty of possibilities. Um, but it is a lot of fun starting franchises. You know what I mean, and not playing with someone else's um, you know playground essentially, but building your own. So I ha am having a lot of fun doing that. So. Mm -hmm. Some franchises obviously have different directors joining yeah. the project. Would you ever hand this one over to anyone, or is this one strictly yours? I think uh, at this point I have to see it through to the end. Yeah, so you know, we'll do this next one, and that'll be the end. That'll be the end of the trilogy, and then someone else can take over, I think. There's no talk of splitting the next one into two, is there? It's going to be right one now. movie. Not if I have anything to say about it. Excellent. And uh, what can we expect in terms of the scale? Obviously, this one was bigger than the last one. How big is the next one going to be? It is going to be big. It's going to be just big thematically and, and story-wise. And location-wise, it might not be as big. It's not basically a, a journey anymore. It's not going to be a journey across a desert or anything. 
but um, you know the world is in a in a really tough spot, so it's going to be a lot bigger in terms of you know in terms of um, I guess uh, stakes, you know, and, and just the kind of fun, final conclusion of these kind of characters, you know, these different stories, these arcs, it's going to be fun to watch. I think. Excellent. Well, look forward to it. Cool. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thanks, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.